A shocking string of events ended with two police officers being injured in the line of duty. One of them came within inches of losing his life. It started with a reported abduction and ended with shots fired. The scene is clear now, but there were some dramatic moments overnight in North Braddock. I'm Christine Sorensen. I'm Stacy Smith. Brenda Waters has been at the scene all morning following this developing story, and she joins us now with the latest on the officers who were injured and who police now have in custody. Brenda? Hi, Stacey. Officers from here, the North Braddock Police Station, responded to a 911 call about 1045 last night. Little did they know they would come face to face with gunfire. One officer was hit but was saved by his armored vest. Last night I heard two gunshots. I, I knew it wasn't firecrackers because Kennywood wasn't open. But this lady, who does not want her face shown on camera, says she didn't see anything. Here's what police say happened. A woman called 911 saying it was possible two of her teenage sons were being held hostage in an abandoned house after being abducted at gunpoint. Two North Braddock officers respond and try to get inside the house. When the police arrive at that address, uh, they were met with gunfire. One officer was struck. Uh, his body armor stopped the bullet. He did not sustain a serious injury. He did sustain injuries to his arm. Uh, we're non-life threatening. That officer is Brian Hodges. He can be seen talking with other officers at the scene after being hit. He has been on the force for 10 years. The other received a head wound from, I guess, broken glass or flying glass or something like that. Again, both officers are okay. That officer is James Maines with Braddock Police for about three months. At the scene, a man runs from the house. Two others remain inside. Police determine they have nothing to do with the shooting. But the guy who took off was picked up by Port Authority police on the East Busway, identified as 20-year-old Dijon Howard. Police determined he was the shooter and was taken to the Allegheny County Jail. Uh, police also determined that there was no abduction after speaking with the two teenage boys who were reportedly kidnapped. Police also determined that uh, police were not lured to that vacant house and it was not an ambush. Reporting live in North Braddock, Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.